before y'all saying uh, thank you, gentlemen, over here. By the way, uh, Gladys, where's Gladys and the children? Y'all come on up. We're going we're gonna to let y'all sing right now. And I want to say thank you to my, our music people here at Unity. They're just, they're just the best, and they, they never know what I'm going to do next. They never know when I'm going to interrupt them and, and whatever, but they are very patient, and when they talk about me, they do it behind my back. I never hear it. <laughs> uh, when they complain, I don't hear it, and so that's, that's a good thing. And so uh, they just uh, do a good job. We appreciate uh, all of our music people here. Now, we've got some guests this week. Um, and uh, Miss Gladys, uh, right back here, and I talked to her on the phone Saturday morning. I was sitting in the airport in Houston, and she called, and she's trying to locate the Rochesters. And uh, I, I said, yeah, I know them. But I said, and she, well, I'm trying anyway. I didn't know who this person was. When it come up on the screen on my phone, it's somebody from New Jersey. I started not to even answer. You get that far north, you don't, you don't. But anyway, but she is good friends with, uh, with the Rochesters and the Matthews, and so we're glad to have them. And so they are going to sing, and uh, do they need to, we need to get them a mic? Oh, we got mics. Huh? You got mics? Whatever you want to do. This one. Let me tell this about Miss Gladys. I don't know, two, three years ago, uh, Miss Gladys lost her husband uh, to a motorcycle wreck. She's left with uh, five kids and uh, just a testimony of faith. If you ever get to talk to her, just how the Lord's provided for her and met her needs. And she's been a blessing to us to, to get to know and we thank the Lord. And thank the Lord for these children who are going to sing this song. I think they're going to sing, He Knows My Name.
few uh, boys and girls. All right, the uh, Rochesters are going to sing. We're thankful for them. In just a moment, when they get the children up here, uh, we're going to get our children up here with them, and they're going to sing uh, maybe at least one song with them. And, uh, and so uh, that'll be a blessing, but we're glad to have the Rochesters. They're not strangers here. They've been coming here a long, long time. We love them. Thank God for them. They're like family to us. They're not just good singers and talented. They're good people, and we appreciate them and love them in the Lord. And it's just a joy to have them with us. Uh, and so let's make them feel welcome at home again at Unity tonight. Amen. <laughs> Here goes the 
them are just uh, probably laying out the back <laughs>
and unwilling to change with the times. So they found other churches, more modern day preachers who were willing to let things go by. But the old preacher stood for what he believed in and what he preached for years. As he stands there in an ear in the church house, his opening remarks are these words. There's a heaven to give and a hell to shine. The way is still straight. There's a race to be run. goes by the cross and now the old preacher man stands there in that city the city he's preached of so long oh but he's never seen such a great congregation gathered to welcome him He's oppressed in that heavenly land And he still wants to know That there's a heaven to give And a hell to show The way is still straight There's a race to be run You can live as you please